Next, we're going to be doing a thumb CMC arthroscopy. And with the current technology using a small camera, camera like a 1.9 millimeter scope, that's what we use for the CMC joint. But the problem with that is it's very easy to damage the scope and cause cartilage injury. And so what we've marked out here with the nanoscope that we're going to be using today is we've marked out the first also compartment. We're making a 1U portal. You can also make a 1R portal or a transthena portal to give you some working length. So structures at risk here are the dorsal sensory branch of the radial nerve and also the radial artery. So you really want to take your time to spread down and pop into the joint. And now, if you're not sure, you can always take an x-ray to make sure you're in the correct joint. Take our nanoscope. Remember, it's a 12-gauge needle, essentially, uh, with a high-definition lens. And we're going to get into the joint. OK, so now we're into the trapezometacarpal joint. Remember, it's a saddle-shaped joint. You can see to the top of us is the base of the metacarpal. And now you can see the saddle of the trapezium. And w remember, when you get arthritis, where they tend to get arthritis is the palmar osteophyte. And so this is the area here when you come across the palmar osteophyte is what we, we need to debride. If we want to do an arthroscopic synovectomy using the nanoscope technology, you can see it's a 12 gauge needle essentially in a very tight joint. You can see this joint has some arthritis in there. And essentially now what we can do is we can take using the small joint shaver system coming in either through the 1R or the transthena portal and debride this synovitis in the joint. So now you can see we're actually going to be working through the transthena portal. Just gives us a bit more working length so the instruments aren't abutting each other and we're not sword fighting in the joint. And so you can see here we have a nice space. This is an 18 gauge needle and we're going to put our 2 millimeter arthroscopic shaver through this portal to debride the synovitis. So now what you can see through the transthena portal with the camera in the 1U portal, we're doing an arthroscopic synovectomy. You can see how tight the joint is. This is a two millimeter shaver. And essentially, you can see that this joint is now at about three millimeters in terms of its diastasis. So it's a tight joint. But yet with the nanoscope, we have an unparalleled view here as we're debriding the synovitis in the joint. As we're coming across, we're doing this all dry. And this will allow us, for example, to do an arthroscopic trapeziectomy and uh, a mini tightrope suspension arthroplasty, should this be clinically indicated. So today we've done arthroscopy on the trapezometacarpal joint. And you could argue that the trapezometacarpal joint and the DIUJ are some of the hardest joints to do arthroscopy in. But not only did the nanoscope show its ability to safely get into the joint without injuring the articular cartilage, with the 120 degree field of view, it gave us an unparalleled view of the joint. But also therapeutically, you can see through the small joint shaver system, we're able, for example, to do an arthroscopic synovectomy, debridement, arthroscopic wafer procedure. The choice is endless.